In today's video, I'm going to explain about the melting and boiling points of the D-block elements. And for that, I'm considering the 3D series. We have scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, and zinc. Okay, so have a look at the boiling points. Now we see that the boiling points do not increase accordingly. So here titanium has high boiling point than scandium. And then vanadium done, titanium and so on. So why is it so? That can be explained on the basis of the maximum number number of unpaired electrons. So here for scandium the atomic number is 21. Now what is the valence shell electronic configuration? It is 3d1 4s2. Here I'm writing only the valence shell electronic configuration how many unpaired electrons are there in scandium one okay that is in the 3d orbital we have one and here we have two so there is only one unpaired electron in scandium the boiling point is 2100 sorry 2730 in degrees celsius okay now for titanium the valence shell electronic configuration is 3d2 4s2 that means you have two on paired electrons okay and this is for the 4s2 and then it goes in the same way now for vanadium 3d3 4s2 and then for vanadium we have 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it is in this way. Okay. Now for titanium, we have two unpaired electrons. So that's why its boiling point is higher than that of scandium. Okay. Now what about vanadium? Three unpaired electrons. So its boiling point is higher than titanium. And then here we have four unpaired electrons. But then why is it low than that of vanadium and titanium? Because here, okay, we need only one electron to attain the stable, the stability. That means the half-filled stability. So because of that, even though it has uh, four unpaired electrons, that's why it has low boiling point as compared to that of vanadium and titanium and then what about manganese we have five on paired electrons but then the the boiling point is low as compared to chromium and these why because this is a half stability state if there are five electrons okay in the d orbital that means it's the half filled stability state and then for iron, how many unpaired electrons are there? There are four, okay? So we have the boiling point to be 3,000. And then for cobalt, we have three. So that's why it decreases. And then here we have two. That's why it decreases. Okay? And then the for copper, we have one. This one. That's why it decreases. And finally... For zinc, it has no unpaired electrons. So that's why the boiling point is only 906 degree Celsius. Okay, very low as compared to the other elements in the 3D series. So it goes in that way. So the question is, what if we move down the group? Because we know that in the 3D series, we have scandium. And then the in the 4D series... What are the elements? We have Y, Trium, 
okay and then the and lanthanum here titanium below titanium we have uh, zirconium and then we have hafnium and so on just check from the periodic table so what if we move down the group will the boiling point and melting point increase or decrease it will increase because if you move down the group there will be maximum number of on pet electrons so that's why uh, upon moving down the group the melting point and boiling point increases okay in the case of the 3d elements there is one interesting question a conceptual question that is the question is why do zinc cadmium and mercury have low melting points and boiling points so zinc cadmium mercury why do these three have low melting points and boiling points look at the at the electronic configuration for zinc i'm writing only the valence shell electronic configuration it is 3d10 4s2 for cadmium it is 4d10 5s2 and then for mercury it is 5d10 6s2 we see that these three do not have on paired electrons the d orbitals are completely filled because of the absence of uh, on paired electrons these three zinc cadmium and mercury have low melting points and boiling points so this is an important conceptual question that is all about the melting points and boiling points of the d elements or the transition metals